Maybe you speak multiple languages or you're interested in other languages and you want to write that out on the keyboard on Linux. Well, today I'm going to show you how to do it. Welcome back to another video, boys. Today I'm going to show you a program that I wish I knew. I remember I was, I was struggling to figure out how to do this, but then I found this program. It's not minimalist. It's not a you know cool terminal program. Maybe there is a version of that uh, in that form, but this program to me seems like the best program for languages. It's a little bit... I won't even say it's bloated, it just, you know, just, it does its thing. And that's um, FCITX5. And with this program, you can essentially just change your keyboard layout just like that. And it'll work on literally anything. Like for me, I've got it to work on all the things. Like usually, like honestly, the main thing is maybe in the terminal every now and then, and then sometimes in the browser, but nothing really else I've found. And to install it is very easy. You install the main package, and then you will install, you know, there's different, um, you know, maybe if you're trying to write Chinese and Japanese, you know, I'm not sure about these. I, I don't write these languages, but, you know, check out the ArchWiki. And then for the input method, you want to download the respective program. So, for example, I don't use, so you want to see like, okay, do you want to download uh, Qt or GTK? Now, for me, I think I installed both Qt and GTK because it's likely you're going to encounter those programs. Like maybe you have a, I think Brave is a GTK program, whereas other programs will be QT. So I think just install both of these. So everything works. And the rest of these, I think are a little bit more irrelevant. Maybe you have to install it, maybe not up to you, but I haven't installed it. And then there's this little thing where you got to input these environment variables into. And then there's this little thing where you got to input these environment variables. So what I did is I put export before each of these uh, commands and just put it into my X and an RC. Maybe there's a better way to do it, but I mean, it worked for me. So I don't really care. And then here it tells you, you know, the different ways to auto start. And to be honest, like I don't really have to do anything here, even though I've got DWM and says you need to add the auto start patch. I mean, it works for me. So I think what you can do is you can just put it into your X and an RC and you should be good to go. And yeah, that seems to be about it. Um, and then, you know, lastly, maybe you want to download like a little skin. This is the uh, theme that I installed just makes it look better than the default. Yeah, and honestly looking through it. It seems fine now I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I'm not sure how it works within games I'm really I'm really game anymore. So I can't really tell you that you know It seems there might be a bug where in Steam and Dota 2 uh, You can only use it in big screen mode or something like that But again, this is gonna be something you're gonna to have to find out. But yeah, that seems to be about it So through this program I can simply you know open up. Let's say, you know, just brave and um, I want to type, you know, so we've got normal English, you know, blah, blah, blah. Then I want to switch to Hungarian. Okay, well, now I'm in, you know, you see, hey, you. So I can then type a CR. Well, okay, I can type all these like special Hungarian characters that are only in like Hungarian and it works well. And then also what I have said is because usually I'm only switching between English and Hungarian, you know, on my daily use. But sometimes I need to switch to a different group where I use more let more rare languages. So sometimes I'll use Arabic. So then I can type, you know, um, oh no, my Arabic's horrible. As -salam. Yeah, as -salam alaykum. So if I want to, you know, type Arabic, I can. And then again, other times I want to go to old Hungarian, uh, runic Hungarian. So then I can type all the, the runes, you know, and they have all their special characters and all that. So this, this program genuinely has everything and, I, and I'll show you right now. So, oh, and I forgot to mention, you want to install the configuration tool, uh, F, FCITX5 config tool, and then you'll be able to have this menu where you can basically change all your configs and stuff just like that and just in a very simple manner. So as we can see, I've got my first group, which is English and Hungarian. Then I've got my rare cases, which is Arabic and old Hungarian. And you can literally add, you know, what, it, like this genuinely will probably have anything you want. Uh, like let's say you Syriac you want to write in Syriac boom you got Syriac like you genuinely have like any and, and not even just like any language but so many different versions of languages or even like different layouts like Dvorak and um, just everything <laughs> like genuinely everything is here so it works like it's just one of those programs very simple extremely useful you can change uh, however you want it to and yeah it really is that simple, you know, it isn't that much to it, but this program has helped me out a lot. So I just want to, you know, share this program with you guys. Maybe it will help you as well. And uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.